Simon Calvert is with us uh, this morning uh, from the Christian Institute. Good morning to you, Simon. Good morning. Good morning. And Gavin Boyd from the Rainbow Project. Good morning to you, Gavin. Morning, Stephen. Good morning. Good morning. So, Simon, we we have asked the the bakery to speak to us this morning. They they declined to do so. We heard their interview there. We took that from your uh, website. Why is this so important? What would be so offensive about Bert and Ernie holding hands? Well, it comes down to the issue of whether somebody can be forced to promote uh, a political message with which they profoundly disagree. And the Equality Commission has decided that it thinks it's a good use of taxpayers' money to uh, litigate against this Christian family business to force them to uh, to promote a, a point of view which um, it, it just runs completely counter to their values. I mean, it's not difficult, I think, for people to imagine themselves in the sort of situation where they might be running a business and there's th- there's a thousand things that they do and 999 of them never, never would create any conflict. But uh, uh, there, there is one issue, w- one point at which you're asked to do something which... which which uh, requires you to say, I support, you know, we support this particular campaign, this particular message, when in fact it runs counter to your values, whatever those values are. And just to be clear, so every cake that this bakery um, has made in the past, they have endorsed that cake. So if (laughs) if they're baking a cake, they're endorsing it. Well, the 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 the, cust- the, uh, the bakery has a process where it uh, considers the orders. It has in the past declined to uh, overprint cakes with other messages, which uh, they, they found very offensive messages that were where they had uh, bad language or, or were obscene. And they're entitled to do that. I mean, it's their business, isn't it? So literally, their business. And so, if they uh, have a policy uh, yeah. of 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 you know not uh, printing messages. The, not using their skill uh, and their staff and their time and their machinery to print messages which they find profoundly offensive, then that's really up to them. And, and, and if people don't like that, I mean, you know, they can they can go to a different bakery. But and, as I say, and, I think a lot so this, of people can bakery, imagine themselves in a similar situation. And so this bakery believes that gay marriage is profoundly offensive, do they? Well, they think it's wrong, don't they? And a lot of people do. I mean, the assemblies voted three times in two years to reject uh, redefining marriage. It's a it's a perfectly respectable opinion uh, to believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, and, uh, well, and so to yeah. be asked to endorse the message that uh, gay marriage is is a good thing. Again, I th- I think. People can just people don't have to agree with them, but I think a lot of people will just think, well, you know, why should there be? I mean, imagine if a uh, let's think of a con- another controversial example. If a if a a, 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 a baker who's is a nationalist is asked to print a, a cake uh, with a, a message endorsing the, the orange order, they might say, well, actually, you know, I'm sorry, I, that's not, I'm not going to use my time, my skill, my ability uh, to to help you promote that message. You know, there, there are plenty of other bakers, but I'm sorry, on this occasion, I, I can't help you. So, Come back next week, you can buy as many cakes. Okay. Uh, you know, bread as much bread as you like, but we're not going to actually help you with the promotion of a particular political message. Gavin Boyd? Um, the law is really clear, Stephen. You can't pick and choose what sides of the law apply to you. If someone, if you're a company that's trading out there in the marketplace and someone comes to you, you can't pick and choose whether or not to fulfill that order based on their sexual orientation. It's just not, it's not kosher with the law. But it's not based on the sexual orientation of the customer. It's based on the content of the message. That's entirely different. Well, it's based on sexual orientation. It is because of sexual orientation that the the company decided not to print this. And they would have made a a perception argument about the the client's uh, sexual orientation. So it is a fair case to say that this is about sexual orientation and discrimination. Uh, But I haven't said that, Gavin. Should companies not have the freedom to decide what they are going to bake and what they're not going to bake, what they're going to... as uh, as Simon has said, endorse or not. So just imagine a situation here in Northern Ireland, I don't know, where someone goes into a bakery in the falls and orders a King Billy cake. Now, that bakery might not want to, to bake it. Do you think they should be forced to do so? Well, I'm not going to comment on something that isn't part of my organisation. We work on sexual orientation and gender well, identity well, issues. Well, but you've got and to comment because it's the same thesis, isn't it? Let's say, say somebody goes into, the same thesis. Let's say somebody goes onto the shankle and says, right, I want you to bake a We Love Jerry Adams cake. Should the bakery in the shankle be forced to make it? Well, listen, Stephen, that's really a question for the Equality Commission. You'd really have to look at the specific laws that apply there because it's not the same law. This is about access to goods, facilities and services based on sexual orientation. It's a piece of legislation all in and of itself. It's an issue of discrimination. That's my point. 
Well, I mean, discrimination, there's a difference between discrimination and unlawful discrimination. This is the case of unlawful discrimination. What you have here, uh, Simon Calvert, is uh, a government-funded body issuing issuing a, a, a threatening legal letter to the business, the Equality I Commission. That statement. The, well, it's the Equality Commission for Northern Ireland. I don't know how you're taking issue with it, Gavin Boyd, because I don't know how you can say it's a threatening letter. Well, 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 well let me read line. It's our line in the letter of the law. Right. Well, let me re- read one of the paragraphs, and you tell me whether you would feel rather threatened by this legally. This letter constitutes a letter of claim, in consequence of which we look forward to receiving your proposals to remedy your unlawful discrimination. What's that mean? Suing them? What does, what does that mean? Remedy your unlawful discrimination. You, you, well, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't exactly roll over and close your eyes, would you? No, Stephen, remedy can mean a whole load of things, and that's why it's a legal term. This is a legal document outlining the letter of the law. It's not threatening. It's just giving the company an opportunity to redress the problem that's been created. Remedy your lawful discrimination within seven days uh, of this letter, failing which proceedings will issue before a county court without further notice to you. It's threatening legal action. Of course it is, but it's not a threat. It's it's just outlining what the what the, the the plan of action is going to be. They're setting out the case. They're saying out what was discrimination, what was unlawful, and saying what the redress is going to be. That's not a threat. Yeah, the other side of this, of course, are. this is national news this morning, uh, Simon. This this is on the front page of a national broadsheet newspaper this morning. It's going to be. I can tell you now. Now that we have run with this, I'm telling you now. In Northern Ireland, this is going to be a huge story all day. All this bakery had to do was bake the cake, and Bert and Ernie wouldn't have been talked about today well that's right and they could have done that but then the consciences would have condemned them and we're back to this question are people entitled to have a different view and are they entitled to live according to that view or should we be forcing them to promote views that they profoundly disagree with i mean uh, gavin i think really i mean i think if gavin boyd and i had long enough i think we could come to some common ground because you know we all have our beliefs religious beliefs, ethical beliefs, political beliefs. We all are entitled to them. We all are entitled to express those beliefs. Uh, the, the issue is simply whether we should be forced by each other to express each other's beliefs. And, I, and I, I, nobody really thinks that you should do that. There are other examples. I mean, we've talked about the, 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 the political disputes. I mean, the, the political and religious disputes kind of combine. And as a matter of fact, the same laws which apply here on sexual orientation do also apply on religion. So it is theoretically possible that if you wanted to be mischievous, you could say refusing to print uh, a cake for the Orange Order was a form of religious discrimination. Discrimination, um, or you could you think consider another example: a, a, a baker who is known to be an atheist is asked to print a, 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 a cake uh, promoting the Christian faith, uh, or a Christian baker is asked to print a cake saying what a wonderful chap Richard Dawkins is. I mean, these are all expressions of, of views and opinions. And what business is it of a taxpayer-funded body? to order somebody to promote a particular message. This is not turning customers away. You know, Ash's Bakery, just like uh, Ash's Baking Company, just like every other uh, bakery, has customers coming and going all day long, and they come from different backgrounds, different religious oh, views, well, different on, experiences. Different backgrounds. And, different and, backgrounds. So would Ash's Bakery be OK to, to say, sorry, we, I, we, I don't know, they believe, I don't even know what faith they believe in, but like, would, would they, I'm not suggesting that they would do this, but do, well, you, think, but do you think, the, hypothetically, hold on, let me put the question to you. Do you think hypothetically they would have a right to say, sorry, we don't believe in the Muslim faith, therefore we're not baking a cake for a Muslim? No, well, th- that was my point. That was the point I was making, is that, uh, that customers come into these shops all day long, customers from different backgrounds, different religions, and they, they get service with a smile and they get fantastic confectionery and it, it, no issues ever arise. Wow. Ashes a baking company is not turning away customers on the basis of religion or sexual orientation or anything else. It is simply saying that this particular order required us to use our creative skill and time and energies to promote a particular political yeah. cause, a political cause which is controversial in Northern Ireland, which has been rejected by the Assembly yeah, three Simon, times in two but years. But, Simon, the question and is... why should they be obliged to do that? But, but because you're saying because they, they, they have a belief against gay marriage, OK? And they're entitled to that belief. 
But indeed, if, I don't know, if they are from a Christian faith, which it seems they are, right? That's the, that, mm-hmm. that's, that's right. That's what the owner of the business, they have a Christian faith. Therefore, they would not believe in Islam. They would not believe in the Muslim faith. So if a Muslim came and said, please bake a cake saying, um, you know, Muslims are, we believe in the Muslim faith. We want to celebrate whatever it is that the Muslim faith celebrate. Would that bakery have the right to say, sorry, no, and turn that customer away? Well, I think they ought to have that right, don't you? And would they turn them away? I haven't, actually, actually haven't discussed it with them, but I think they ought to have that right. I, I think that anybody, whoever you are, you might run a bakery along environmental principles. Why should you be obliged to print a cake which says, you know, yes to fracking in Sussex, or, you know, Shell is the best old company ever? Uh, you know, you shouldn't have to do these things. If you are a, a, a feminist, a bakery with a feminist ethos, where that you know, is communicated clearly in the way you go about okay. things, well, you shouldn't have to print a, a cake that says, you know, Sharia law for the UK, or some message which you find to be uh, fundamentally contrary to, to your values. You, it's, it's, it's not about turning customers away. How do you feel, It's about Simon? being forced to endorse a message. How do you feel about the fact that a government-backed body, the Equality Commission, government-funded body, actually it's funded by the Office of the First and Deputy First Minister. So the Equality Commission have funded this legal letter threatening, legally threatening, this business. I think that most people will be scratching their heads and thinking, haven't they got better things to do? And the Equality Commission is also meant to represent the interests of of all sections of society in Northern Ireland. But here they are taking sides in a controversial issue, a culture war issue, uh, against a Christian family business. Well, they're interpreting the law. And I think they're misinterpreting it because they are talking as if it was about the sexual orientation of the customer when that was never discussed. It never came up. Uh, It's simply about the content of the message on the cake.